You're back, you're back, you're watching, you're watching, you're watching, you're watching. I'm so hyped, oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, bienvenue. My name is Aisha Tubella and you're watching my YouTube channel over here. So today's video is about my foundation routine, the basics, how I contour, highlight, how I get this glow going on. I have oily combination skin, however, I do live some... My accent is coming out now. Uh -uh. Okay, let us start over. I do have oily combination skin, however, my routine can apply to anybody with a little bit of twist to it. So if you wanna see how I get this face done, <laughs> then keep on watching, boo, okay? All right, let's get started. Okay my love, so I'm starting off with my Skin the Navia Oil Control Primer Spray and I am spraying a generous amount on my face and as that dries, I'm going to use my Becca Primer and apply that on my T-zone for the most part because that is where I am the oiliness, the oiliest. <laughs> that is where I am the oiliest and that's where my pores seep through. Now I'm using my... LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector and that is going to neutralize any darkness on my face. I'm applying it where I have darkness and I'm using the orange corrector to just cancel that out. Next I am blending the orange corrector with my Zoeva Concealer Buffer. I am pushing in the color so that it stays in place and does not move around. And yeah, if you swipe it around, it's just gonna move and defeat the purpose of placing it in a particular area. Now that I've neutralized my face, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match in Deep Golden. And I'm going to apply that with my Morphe M224 brush. I'm applying it all over my face, my neck. Um, I'm also applying it around my hairline so that it blends in seamlessly with my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. Now I'm using my Real Technique Beauty Sponge. I either use that or a beauty blender to just take away any excess foundation. Now I am using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn and I am bringing back my face to life. I am adding concealer where the sun will naturally hit my face so that is under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, above my lip aka my cupid bow, my chin and my forehead. A little bit on my forehead because I really do not want to bring more attention to my forehead as you can see my forehead is big but that just means I'm smart Now I'm taking the same beauty sponge and I am blending out the concealer and making sure that I'm concentrating it where I have the concealer and not moving it around. So as I blend my concealer, I'm pushing it in and pinching the pointy side of the beauty blender. And what I will eventually do is use the end part, which is what I use to blend out my foundation and just blend the sharp edges.
Okay guys, it is now time to contour. I'm using my Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Chestnut. This is actually a sampler that I have and I had it for a while, like six months now. What I'm doing now is creating a shadow. My foundation gave me a flat surface. My concealer brought back the light into my face and now I'm contouring. And what contouring does is add shadow and recede. I'm using my Zoeva Face Shape Brush to blend out my nose contour as well as my cheekbone. I'm also going back with the concealer to just clean up the contour and make sure that line is still straight. Before I go ahead and set my face, I make sure I touch up one last time. And now I'm going to take the Ben I Luxury Powder in Topaz and go ahead and add powder where I have concealed. The purpose of adding the Ben Eye Powder on my jawline is to clean up my contour as well and it just sharpens my face. Now I'm using the BH Cosmetic Contour Palette and I'm using the two darkest shades to set my contour. So wherever you put cream, you want to make sure you set it with powder or else it's going to just move around and look a mess. Now I'm using my e.l.f. blending brush. It is actually an eyeshadow brush and I'm using that to set my nose contour for precision. And then I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush right after that again and just blend it out. Now that I'm done with my contour, I like to set my face afterwards to just make sure that nothing is so prominent. So I'm dusting away my baking powder, um, which is the Ben I was baking. So now I'm dusting that away using my Matte Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Now we're going to warm up the face using a little bit of blush. And this is the Zoeva Lust Sheer Cheek Brush. It's basically a blush brush. Oh God, this is a tongue twister. And now it is time to glow. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dip. And as you see, I've only used two shades and I'm highlighting my cheekbones and yeah, my cupid bow, my nose. Guys, if I could highlight my entire face, I would, but I need to calm down. How cute is this tiny Morphe brush, you guys? I use that to highlight my cupid bow and the bridge of my nose. So guys, the trick that I do if this is if I have too much um, highlight, I'll go back and touch up with my blush. Now I went ahead and set my entire face and we're all done. That is all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.